I feature a lot of watches here on Watch Chris, and sometimes when I receive a watch in for review, I can tell that the watch was designed by someone who maybe isn't a true watch enthusiast. And that isn't all bad all the time. However, when a watch is designed by someone who really loves watches, you can definitely tell. Today, we're taking a look at one of those watches, a watch that was designed by an enthusiast. That person's name is Craig. He's actually the founder of Wrist Enthusiast. If you are not familiar with Wrist Enthusiast, I will put a link down in the description below. They have an Instagram account, but they also have a blog and a YouTube channel. So I'll put all of that information down below. Craig loves watches. I'm actually going to be featuring him on my collector series here on my channel. So definitely stay tuned for that. This is a watch that he is very passionate about. It's called Ren. I'm not sure if he is a bird enthusiast or if he likes Ren and Stimpy. I'm not sure about that, but a Ren is a very small bird. It's a songbird and they're actually pretty beautiful. And they actually feature a Ren in their logo for this watch. There's a Ren on the dial. We'll get to that in just a second. So let's start talking about the specs on this watch. It's a dive watch, gets 200 meters of water resistance. This is one of the only times where I've been provided specs that were exactly what this watch measured out to be with my calipers. This is a 41 millimeter watch spot on at that bezel. So essentially 41 millimeters wide at that bezel. And then you have a 13.3 millimeter thickness. That's including the boxed domed sapphire crystal. And the sapphire crystal on this watch sits just a little bit above the sapphire bezel. So you're getting a sapphire bezel and a sapphire crystal. I love that. But the best part about this watch is the dial. We'll talk about that in just a second. The look to lug on here is 47 millimeters and the crown is over seven millimeters. I measured at 7.4 millimeters, which I think is excellent. You have a very good grip on it uh, and it feels really good. The bezel action, and I'll insert some audio here, sounds amazing. And that's because this watch gets a sapphire bezel, as I mentioned before, but is also made out of 316L stainless steel. That stainless steel does get a PVD coating. It doesn't change the color of the case or the bracelet. However, it's meant for scratch resistance and it's definitely a nice touch. The movement inside here is a Salita SW200. This is a Swiss made watch. So obviously a Salita SW200 would make a lot of sense. It's a workhorse movement. And of course a go-to for most higher end micro brands. The bracelet here is a beautiful flat link bracelet. I love flat link bracelets. This one really is very nice. There are no sharp edges. It really does flow very well. However, they're actually going to be making some improvements to this bracelet. You can see that it does not taper very much. They're actually going to be adding to the taper, which again, I really like because I do like a tapering bracelet. They're also going to be adding polished edges to the links. Again, something that I also very much like. However, I don't think it actually needs it because this does not have any sharp edges, but I think it would look good with some polished edges. They're also going to be replacing the buckle. This gets a generic buckle as it is right now, and this is a prototype. However, they're going to be putting a little bit more of a special buckle. The buckle is double signed on here. I'm not sure if the next buckle or the buckle that they'll be using next will either have Ren on it or their actual logo, that bird logo, the Ren logo. So that is yet to be seen. However, I believe it will be a single fold over clasp with a double push button rather than this double push button, double fold over clasp. Since this is a 200 meter dive watch, you are getting a screwed in case back and screwed in crown. Crown is signed with the Ren logo. And then of course that case back is pressed. It is really deep. So the actual logo here is very, very deep. You have polishing and a couple of other finishes on the back. The case back is very nicely done. However, finally we get to the dial. When I first saw this watch, I thought that the dial was actually domed. It is not. It's very heavily fume. So there's a fume pattern, very dark on the outside, basically black. And as you get towards the center of the dial, it's almost a blue aqua green color. 
You also have a sandwich dial here, so there is loom on that bottom portion. And then of course the dial sits on top of that, so that's making it a sandwich. However, it looks like that blue portion, the top portion of the dial of that sandwich is slightly raised off of the bottom part. Very, very slightly, it gives it a little bit of depth. You also get some old radium loom on here, or at least that's what it looks like. It's a creamy color, and I believe it is Swiss Super Luminova. You have that same color on the track, so there's a mini track that looks sort of vintage as well. On the dial, you get that Wren at the 12 o'clock. It says Wren, and then of course the bird is there. And then at the bottom of the dial, it just says automatic and 200 meters of water resistance. I would call the indices almost maxi indices because they are very large. You have large triangles at the primary indices at the 12, 9, 3, and 6, and then you have circles for the rest of the indices. The dial, like I was saying before, almost looks like it's a domed dial, and that happens because of the domed sapphire crystal and the way that the actual dial is sitting on that sandwich portion. It is a beautiful dial and very well executed. It just says Swiss made down at the bottom. That's the only other lettering on this dial. The bezel here on this specific model is the prototype is not loomed. However, everything else is loomed. Uh, you do get a loomed pip in the production model. So there is no loom in the pip currently, but in the production model, there will be a little bit of loom. I would have liked to see maybe the entire bezel loom. I think that would have been cool. However, you are getting some loom in the bezel and that will be in the form of a loomed pip. Last but not least, the handset here, pretty straightforward, just fence post hands, which again are loomed. And of course, you're getting some loom on that second hand, which I love in the form of a lollipop. Price on this watch is coming in at $895. You're getting a Swiss made dive watch here with a Salita SW200 and that extra hard coating. I think that's actually a pretty good price, especially considering the dial. The dial on this watch is probably one of the best blue dial dive watches that I've seen in a long time. And I wouldn't even call it blue. It's sort of a blue green color. This is also a limited edition. They're only making 100 of these watches. So if you are a fan of wrist enthusiasts or you just really want a nice watch, this is a really nice dive watch. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. Like I said, I'll put links to everything down in the description to of course the Ren website for this specific watch, for this specific model. And of course I'll put links to the Wrist Enthusiast website, their Instagram, and of course their YouTube channel. So definitely go over and check them out and subscribe if you have not. Speaking of subscribing, don't forget to subscribe here if you found this video useful or helpful or any of that good stuff. I really do appreciate it. And that's really it guys. Thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.